I shouldn't be standing with a heart that's so heavy I shouldn't be up with all the weight that I carry Don't know if it's So, today, another beautiful day here in... Vienna Today, we are in... Schönbrunn And the first place we're gonna go to are the gardens, the castle, or like the palace And because we have so many things in the past, we're gonna be doing them for the two next days So today and tomorrow and as you can see here is the palace that we're going to be heading to very soon because that is the one thing that we are timed on other things we can do whenever we want to so let's get started so the first place we're in is a garden a smaller garden because the lady at the desk told us to probably get this before we get into the palace because it's at 13 13 that's when we have to get inside and she said like use your time and get to this garden. It's the smallest one. It's close So we should do it first and it's called the Trevi garden So we've just been to Schönbrunn Pass and because we can't take photos and videos there well the future me is going to tell you a little bit more about this place So what happened in this Schönbrunn? Basically in the palace you cannot record and take videos, photos you cannot take out your camera and even though I had it with me I couldn't take it anywhere inside like I couldn't actually film inside except that there was one room where you could actually do it they changed it so that in that certain room you can actually take photos and videos other than that you cannot take photos or videos anywhere else but let's go over what the Schönbrunn Palace is so it was the main summer residence of the Habsburgs and it's located a little bit on the side of Vienna the Schönbrunn name comes from beautiful spring so what we will find inside is basically like a recreation of all the rooms that there were there during the Habsburg rulers stay. Basically some of the rooms were restored to make them look exactly how they used to be. Some of them are still being restored or renovated and others are, you know, it's pretty much like you're walking through all the rooms and halls, bathrooms, you know, everything how they would live there. And it's very, very big. It's like very huge it's very cool to see because like the, the rooms themselves are very like tall very spacious and they have like so many different things that are a little bit different than a normal room would have today so it's very cool to see it and at the same time it's a lot of history and also not only history but you see how they lived but like I said unfortunately I cannot show you you'll have to see it for yourself because you cannot take videos and photos inside but basically you go inside and around the inside of the palace and we're back here now we're gonna actually go to orangery gardens maze and glorietta and the last thing is pretty much like a viewpoint yes. so that is gonna be goal for today more gardens and that kind of stuff but one thing before we leave i just wanted to mention that we noticed with evie that all those trees here are maintained in a way to make like those arches which is very very cool because all the way you can you can actually see it a little bit here you can see how this is cut to make like an arch so everywhere basically it is like that it's very cool very clean everything is so well maintained so we made it to the first point which is orangery garden just look how it's beautiful <laughs> I see door and that's where I'm going to be heading because it's going to be colder than in the sun. From the palace we headed to one of the gardens which is the Orangeria or in other words an orange garden. Basically this is where the orange garden would be in the courtyard of the palace and when you head inside you will see different kind of plants, different kinds of gardening plants and also like tools and photos of different events that would happen there because there was actually like this big hall and they would have like a market or like uh, events there so all those different things you can see in the orange garden
So, the next location on our list is... Maze. So we're going to a natural maze. And just one thing, this park is huge. It's huge, huge, huge and it's very, very beautiful. And it's good to mention that the Privy Garden is, in our opinion, better than Rangery Garden. The whole area is huge. I guess push it too far. In front. So we've been there. We will be going there. But now we're heading there to the labyrinth. I can see people and it looks bigger than I thought. So Evie is leading us to that place right there to make a reconnaissance mission to know where we should head because we have no idea where to go. Yeah. So now we're lost and Evie said it was uh, supposedly easy but we can't even get to the tower to do reconnaissance let alone go to the more of a bigger maze. Good job I'm boss. confused. <laughs> so Evie leading the way, we need to get to the top of there. And we've made it to the Grand Tree of Life. So, the short exit is just going here. Not the way to the exit here. The long exit is the way we came. We're just going through this hall. And it's, let me just tell you, it's much harder. It's much harder than we would expect it to be. Labyrinth 1, 2 and 3. Easy. What easy. I said at the beginning. It's gonna be easy. Yeah, and it was not. We just, we just did this one. Entrance. One. The middle, middle one. Which one? The middle one. Okay, which or left? Which to our left? The long one. Long. Longer grass. Yeah. And? Short. Yeah. This one has short, as you can see. This one is slightly longer and this one is wild. <laughs> Bouncing. <laughs> So Evie just uh, took us on the longer path go that go b goes back. The first one goes back quickly. The second one, the longer, how much? 10 minutes approximately. Approximately 10 minutes just around this whole labyrinth. So Two, Evie is... 4.25? Yeah. You can see it? You can, I can see it. <laughs> but okay. okay, I believe you. I'm gonna put a stamp right here what time it is. And we'll see how long it takes us to get through this whole labyrinth. And how long did it take us? It took us six minutes. So it took us six minutes to get all the way around. And now we're heading to the last one. Right here is the entrance right here. Let's get going to the wild forest. Let's go. Okay. Choose path. Left one or the right one? Everything on your own risk. <laughs> I'm going after you. So here. <laughs> into the wild forest of adventure with Eevee mm -hmm. a new series okay so we are seeing some mini games already and I'm not really mathematical oh, no. math also on vacation <laughs> no thank you no thank you next so we did it the third and last one then we're just gonna check what is here and we're gonna head to the top over there so. So those are finger mazes. So you can do it like, you know, place your finger and try to find your way. And here, 
original. Show me. So I guess this is what it was before. It seems like there was some more mazes though. It seems like there's one that just goes like, you know, whack whack. Then we have this something here. And then we have, I guess, the open space in the middle here. Then this like a proper ma maze, I guess. And another maze here. I think this could be the same one we did here because it, it seems like it's going round. But it's a little bit different. Today we have the medium, small and large grass. So Evie has led us through the labyrinth. Hi Evie. Hi. So we're going to the water fountain here. We've been to the palace here, the gardens over there. And we're also heading to the top over there. That's our main point. Let's go. Let's go as easy. The water fountain is enormous. The whole place is huge. It's made for giants. Yes. That's what Evie said like a couple minutes ago. Totally. After we were done with the Schönbrunn mazes, we would actually head to the top of the nearby hill because, well, it is a viewpoint. There is a viewpoint on top of the hill overlooking the Schönbrunn and that is called the Glorieta. And it's a nice huge viewpoint on top of like the Schönbrunn hill and you can get a nice beautiful overview of the whole place. Fly with the stars on free. Party all day, every weekend. Make it boom boom to the beat. Make it boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. I'm glad to be alive, alive, alive. Cause I don't wanna waste my time. No. So we are by the Glorietta. And it's right here. A viewpoint and is overlooking Schönbrunn. And on our pass, we actually have tickets to get on the top of there, so it's gonna be like an observation deck. And it's a very cool location to take a rest because there is a cafe inside here. We have the beautiful view. I shouldn't be standing with a heart that's so heavy. I shouldn't be up with. So we are at the observation deck. And the view is beautiful. And we are heading there. So before coming here, we actually have been to the palace right there. Right, there were the gardens that we visited, like all this park is pretty much the whole place. We've been there and now we've got all the way to the top here. So in, not only we got on the hill, we also got on the viewpoint and from the viewpoint we can see everything. And one more place we're gonna go to is the zoo and the gardens. And from this observation deck, you can actually see the whole city of Vienna. It's right there. If there is one thing I wanted to say about Schönbrunn on top of my head is how beautiful it is, the gardens, the trees, like all the trees being cut out to make like those pathways and when we got to the, like the middle and we see like the open space all the way to the viewpoint, that was breathtaking, in reality it was breathtaking. So we highly recommend you see the Schönbrunn. With that being said, it's gonna be the end of today's video, but before we end this video, a couple things that I wanted to mention very quickly. First off, if you like the music in this video or in any other of my work, check out the links down below for Epidemic Sound and Artlist. If you choose to sign up through the Epidemic Sound link, you'll get a 30 days free trial. And if you join through the Artlist link, you'll get 2 extra months on top of your purchase. If you want to support our channel, check out my Patreon and my website. And last but not least, if you want to join a travel community, check out Travel the World. It's a Facebook travel community. If you're into that kind of stuff, check it out. It's gonna be linked down below. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again, and I'll see you next time. I shouldn't be standing with a heart that's so heavy. I shouldn't be up with all the weight that I carry. No, no, if it's